Hello, my name is Antonio Papano. I'm a patron of the Keyboard Charitable Trust. I was born in Britain. I've lived and studied in America. Now divide my time mostly as music director of the Royal Opera House Covent Garden here in London and the Santa Cecilia Orchestra and Chorus in Rome. Music has no borders and the Keyboard Trust neither. Over its long history, it has presented young concert pianists of 34 different nationalities, offering them performing opportunities internationally and now globally by means of these internet broadcasts. All are ready to grace the great concert halls. I now invite you to hear them in conversation and in concert. Please remember their names, then ask the Keyboard Trust to send them to perform where you are. Then you too will have helped to accomplish our true mission. Thank you very much.
Hello and welcome to the Keyboard Charitable Trust podcast. Today I have a pleasure of talking to Jean Rondeau, one of the most exciting harpsichordists at present. And here is my first question. What instrument attracted you first? Was it piano or was it harpsichord and why? Um, hello, thank you for having me here. Um, so actually I, uh, I discovered the harpsichord uh, when I was five years old and uh, I heard it on the radio so it was a direct uh, relationship like a direct contact with the sound of the instrument and um, at this precise moment I uh, I had the great chance to meet uh, Blondine Verlet um, in the in the school uh, music school uh, uh, next uh, to next to my place at this time, and um, and she has been my uh, teacher for over twelve years. So I was mm-hmm. really lucky. And besides a uh, harpsichord lesson, um, I started. I started uh, a few years later to learn piano, also as well as organ, and also chamber music. Uh, improvisation, harmony, compositions, and so on. Um, and later on, I uh, I studied also uh, choir and orchestra conducting. So wow. I, it, it helps me a lot to learn different uh, instruments and different uh, musical uh, concepts, or I don't know how to mm-hmm. say it. Well, that was my, my next question, actually. Because you have studied so many other disciplines in music, I wonder if there is a particular way you find that, let's say, composition or improvisation or even conducting helps you in your um, in your work as a performer on a harpsichord. Yeah, actually, uh, a lot, a lot, really. Uh, and uh, in my work, in my practicing and so on, uh, I try actually to write music almost every day when I when I can and uh, and also to practice improvisation as well as interpretation. Uh, I think these concepts are raising a lot of different questions which are n- really necessary uh, one for the other. Um, but even though you know my my work is focused on interpretation of baroque music it's what I do like the most um, but it helps me a lot to approach the musical text uh, in a different way. Uh, I think we could see the music more from inside and also from a, a different angle. Uh, we, ca- we could feel what composer is trying to achieve in his musical language. Um, and also for improvisation, I think it's a question of gesture, of dance. Uh, we cannot have the same gesture when you play written music and when you improvise. It's really different. Uh, but one could help the other to approach the limit closely of this gesture when you you approach a musical text and when you play written music. And um, yeah, and working on conducting, uh, it was huge. It was really a huge. Uh, uh, yeah, and a uh, huge amount of knowledge um, about so many subjects like orchestration, a way to approach uh, orchestral works, orchestral music, uh, the working on the on the on the musical form, the working on the form, and also also the, the psychology of a group of uh, an orchestra, how to deal with a lot of people and try to get together uh, around the same uh, musical ID. Wonderful. It's, it all sounds really fascinating. Um, one final question I wanted to ask, and that presumes that um, in your busy schedule you must get a bit tired from time to time. Um, what do you do to relax? Um, do you have any hobbies that you do that's outside music? Actually, I'm quite relaxed already. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But there is, of course, so many things that I 
really like and really enjoy uh, uh, not just music of course uh, I think it's important not to be just inside music you know it's important as I said also to approach subjects with different angles it's mm -hmm. the same in life and it could also help your work on music and your music in itself um, so you know I always think <laughs> life, <laughs> life, people, um, uh, literature, of course, French literature for me. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, no, so many poetry, poetry, but not just in in the books, but in life, in the nature, in the, mm. in everyone's life, in uh, every day. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much uh, for talking to me today. Thanks to and you. <laughs> my pleasure. And um, we will hear some of your recordings in a little moment. Thank you. Thank you.